welcome back to my channel. So this is the digital art piece that I've been working on and it's an idea I've had in mind for so long. I'm so glad I finally got around to doing it. Now as you can see from the start of the video it is based on the um, the Roy Lichtenstein pop art piece called Drowning Girl. So I made this using Photoshop and I used one of Kyle T Webster's brushes. I think it's the ultimate inking thick and thin brush. And for the sketching I used the perfect pencil number one. Now I didn't show the sketching stage because it was so messy. I went back and forth so long. I think it took me like almost two days to actually get this to a place where I was ready to start inking. And it just would have taken up too much time in this video and it just would have been like an hour long. So this is just the inking and colouring stage. So the original text in the speech bubble says, I don't care if I have a cramp, I'd rather sink than call Mal for help. Now the pop art piece that Roy Lichtenstein did, I'm sorry I really have trouble pronouncing his surname, Lichtenstein, uh, his said, I don't care, I'd rather sink than call Brad for help. So I wanted to use a play on words with that and at first I was going to say, I don't care, I'd rather shrink than call the white rabbit for help because if you know Alice in Wonderland at all, she shrinks and grows tall by whatever she eats or drinks. But I thought that might have been a little bit too subtle um, and I wanted something that was just immediately recognisable. So I went with, uh, I don't care, I'd rather drown in tears. So both of them work, but I went with the tears one. For this video style, I thought it'd be interesting to show not just a screen capture of me inking this piece, but also a video of me actually in the room drawing on my Cintiq. Um, it was really difficult to actually line up the footage uh, during the editing process, but I'd, I think it came out well. But if you guys could just let me know if this is the kind of um, video you'd like to see, and if it is, then I can do more like this in the future so that you can actually see what I'm doing rather than just watching a, a little brush running around the screen. At the time of recording, I haven't yet added this to all my online shops, but I will, so do keep an eye out. I'll leave links in the description below. I will also be doing my own prints to sell at conventions. I mainly just do conventions around the UK because traveling abroad with so much stock is not really feasible. But if there are some in the UK that you haven't seen me at uh, or that you could recommend, then please let me know. I'm not yet sure if I'm going to make this available on a t-shirt because it's such a square design it's not really the best design to put on a t-shirt because it would be very boxy and square obviously <laughs> but um, I actually don't mind designs that are quite square so I might just see how it looks and if it's something that you guys would like then please let me know. So I really love pop art and I absolutely adore pop culture. So mixing these two things together was so much fun. Absolutely so much fun. And I'm thinking I might actually do a whole series based on this similar idea by appropriating um, some original comic book art and transforming it into something inspired by uh, pop culture references and um, things like that. So yeah, I'm not really sure yet please don't hold me to it and I'm not sure what kind of characters I'll use as inspiration but um, yeah it's just an idea at the moment and I had so much fun with this piece so I really hope you like it. So thanks very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this um, please feel free to share it and like it and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff um, it really helps and I really do appreciate it and hello to all the new subscribers welcome to my channel Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.